And after these things, Joseph of Arimathea, because he was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave leave. He came therefore and took the body of Jesus. And Nicodemus also came, he who at first came to Jesus by night, bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pound weight. They took therefore the body of Jesus, and bound it in linen cloths with the spices, as the manner of the Jews is to bury. Now there was in the place where he was crucified a garden, and in the garden a new sepulchre wherein no man had yet been laid. There, therefore, because of the parasive of the Jews, they laid Jesus, because the sepulchre was nigh at hand. And there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that thou art come a teacher from God. For no man can do these signs which thou dost, unless God be with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to thee, unless a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus answered, Amen, Amen, I say to thee, unless a man be born again of water and the Holy Ghost, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Wonder not that I said to thee, You must be born again. The Spirit breatheth where he will, and thou hearest his voice. But thou knowest not whence he cometh, and whither he goeth so that it is every one that is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can these things be done? Jesus answered and said to him, Art thou a master in Israel, and knoweth not these things? Amen, amen, I say to thee, that we speak what we know, and we testify what we have seen, and you receive not our testimony. The Jewish Church, the religion of Abraham, thirty odd years before Jesus was crucified, expected God's Messiah, a person who would lead them to victory. But when Jesus actually arrived, they refused to acknowledge him, even though his words and miracles impressed everyone. At his birth, three wise men from the east followed a star that signified the birth of a king. When it passed through Jerusalem, the three kings even stopped at Herod's palace to ask where the newborn king of the Jews was. Everyone expected him, the Messiah. But when he actually arrived, giving God's message and doing mighty miracles, they refused to believe in him. When he said he was the Son of God, he was accused of blasphemy and given a death of crucifixion reserved only for blasphemers. Jesus died as the Son of God, but his cross bore the inscription, King of the Jews. There are many wise men and leaders who are looking for God and his justice. The three kings were some of these. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus were others. For fear of the Jews, they would come at night. On one occasion, Jesus told Nicodemus, unless a man was born again of water and the Holy Ghost, he could not enter into the kingdom of God. Each one of us is different. Our lives are different. How we feel is different. How we react is different. But unless we have a big cross to face in our lives, where our tears spill out and our spirit is so deeply troubled that it has to die and rise again, we cannot become candidates for heaven. Only an unbearable grief or loss will give our complacent egos a jolt and send us crying to the only one who can help us, God. Normally, we would not listen to God, 
but when we are down and out, any good advice is of value. And the soft voice of God can get our attention and change us so that the Holy Ghost can fill our mind and our thoughts and slowly with his gifts which make us new creations and tools in God's kingdom.